We're going to cross me and him. And he used the motion that running back. So we're going to bring him down like that. So this time he brung him. I got him cross man. And we're going to man him up across the field. It's going to look like that. Everybody is cross man. Watch that running back. He comes through. And we get the big sack that we needed. What's popping, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the best Madden 19 channel on YouTube.com. If you want a free Madden 20 ebook as soon as it is released, follow the link in the description, get the top 50 to 100 weekend league package, or become a Patreon member. If you need help on defense, stopping all the glitchy crossing routes if you need help on offense money plays to beat cover two cover three and man coverage i got you you are at the right place let's go what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome to another madden 19 video go ahead drop a like right now as we got some live gameplay we are the kansas city chiefs going against the los angeles rams it's a lot of people like to run with the rams i know who they weapons are on offense so I got to try to make my adjustments. And like I said, I like to force the tempo. So we're going to try to send a lot of pressure, make them throw it short. We're going to play sticks right here. He motions him over, so I'm going to put two people over there. And there we go. There's an out route. We right there for the user pick. And Eric Berry, he has one person to beat. Can he get into the end zone? We go in for the pick six. He put his guy on a little waggle route, a little four yard double move. I was able to make the correct read, jump the rope, and still turn it up the field for a touchdown. If he scores on me, I want it to be with this type of look. So we're going to bring him. We're going to man him up. He probably going to block that tight end. Now we're going to recloud him on the right side. It's going to look like this. We want him to block that tight end. And I got to make sure I get off the block. I got to make sure I get off the block. I recloud that guy on the other side. So we right here through the middle. Good pass. Good pass. My opponent. Okay, so you can see my setup that I got right here. We're going to block him and put him on a slant. And we're going to motion him out. So I'm looking to the right side first. And he drops off just like I thought. And we can make somebody miss. Can he turn up the field? Can he get a big one-play touchdown? He's going to try to dive at the last second. Don't you go out of bounds, boy. Did he get in there? One-play touchdown. A little three-yard route turns into about an 80-yard tutty. Tutty be able to shoot this gap through the middle i'm right here following this uh run we got a deep blue off to the side to take his initial initial route out he motioned him so it's not a running play so now i can come over here and i can sweep back across the field through the middle again through the middle so the deep blue on that right side did not help me out because he streaked him so now i will have to bluff blitz that cornerback or man him up so this might be a run it looks like he uh audible Blood blitz him, and we're looking for a hard flat and then a, a post underneath. So I'm gonna stay right here and then watch a high point pass across the middle, like this. And he comes across with a slant. That was a good play. So my user had two people to watch. Four verticals is his go to play. There's man coverage. So we're gonna have a hitch, a check down. There's the slant. Okay, he didn't follow him. So I could throw it over the top. Now we need to make somebody miss. He's letting the computer control, so he wasn't in the man coverage like I thought. He switched out of it. So now we are on the hash mark, and we can see if he's in cover three again. He brings that high safety up, and then he realizes. So we're going to block him. We're going to send him out the backfield, and we're going to have a, a, a the B rope coming back in case. So we're going to let, let me see. So we're going to let him stop. Make sure the pressure gets picked up. Okay, he's over to the outside. We're going to possession catch that. He's bringing everybody down. And we had the uh, drag open. So if he jumps that, we have over the top. So there's the good pressure. There's the drag. I see him get open right there with the speed advantage. And we get about an eight yard gain. And we're going to try to shoot the gap or bounce back to the outside. Right behind him. Shoot the gap. Be strong. Wide open hole. He gets about a six yard gain. I would take that nine yards. We're going to go to aggressive ball carrier. And we're going to go into a QB sneak, flip it, and we're going to flip it back real fast at the uh, play screen. And we're going to watch his defense. Is he compressed or not? He's stepping back. So we're going to try to go up the middle, cut back, run somebody over for a touchdown. We go up seven points. So this time he brung him. I got him cross man. And we're going to man him up across the field. It's going to look like that. 
Everybody is crossed, man. Watch that running back. He comes through, and we get the big sack that we needed. Chris Jones with the big sack. A lot of adjustments, but it was the right adjustments. I completely overhauled that cover two. So now, I'm going to try to blitz, bring him over. I'm going to cross man in like that. I want him to stay with Kemp the whole time. I want him to stay with Kemp, and I'm going to play in this gap right here. No running back, no tight end. Here's a double move coming, and he has a step on him. Brandon Cooks is too fast right there. He has a step on him. To the outside, I should have moved him over a little bit. We're going to do it again. Brandon Cooks is too fast. So we're going to do this. Watch that running back. Okay, the running back is not going. So we're going to cross him, man him. I got this. I want him to go. I want him to come underneath. I'm following underneath. Running back in this route. There you go. Right there to me. Pick, baby. Let's go, Eric Berry. Let's go. That's the pick that I needed. All them adjustments, y'all seen it on the screen. Made the right decision, and I stayed with that route. So now we are up one touchdown. Was getting dotted up, but we got the stop that we needed. Good user. Now I got to wait for him to get stuck into a cover three. I'm about to fade Tyreek, and we're going for the bomb right away. We're going for the bomb right away. We're going to put him in a hitch just in case. We need a bailout route, and let's see. Picked up the pressure. I can see Tyreek. He's running with him. We got him wide open. Conley turned down the field. Two minutes left. We're going to fall to the ground. Can't let the Madden deja vu happen right there. He was in the cover three. He knew to run with Tyreek. So now we're going to quick hit him. We're going to put B in that drag right there. And we're going to put him in that wheel route. So it's not a lot of pressure. Wheel route wide open. Make somebody miss. Spin. That's about a six yard gain. So we're gonna let it go down to the two minute warning. If you want these offensive breakdowns, my uh, adjustments, my reads that I look for, make sure you let me know in the comment section and be ready for Madden 20. Madden 20 is gonna be crazy. So like I said, this time we're gonna streak Tyreek in case that uh, guy comes over. We're gonna drag the tight end, it's gonna look like that. We're gonna bring him out. That's our first read, he drops down with him. A, now we can come back, get that block, get out the way, run him down there, he follows him. There's X. Right there through the middle, hold on to it, make him spin out, get into the touchdown, boy. The stick skills is nasty. The stick skills is nasty. I want y'all to go in the comment section right now and say stick skills. He seen me playmaker the tight end up the field, and X was coming back across the field. I had all my peripheral visions. I seen that X rope hit him, did the slowest spin in Madden history, but because he let the computer use him, he got his ankles broken. Okay, he should be blocking a lot of people. Okay, we're going to have to man him up. There's the slant. I got that, baby. Over the head. Interception. I, uh, get up. So that guy should be holding the tight end. He should be able to hit him with a quick route. And then the other route to come back. So I'm going to motion him in. Put him in a uh, double move. And I'm going to streak him. If he breaks loose, I got him. Go motion them. Let me see. There's a high point pass. Come down with it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Good offensive play call right there. He bumped him at the line of scrimmage, but he did not drop back with him. He had no help over the top, and he was following the underneath routes. I had that double move underneath. I was supposed to look to the left side, but I actually watched that guy because I believed in him and thought he was going to be open. And guess what? He was open. Okay, so that middle of the field, if he does a post, should be open. Let me see if he motions that running back. Will he motion the running back? He does have a QB that can... Okay, we're going to fake that way. There's a pick right there. Good defense adjustments. My guy gets in the way. Fuller falls down. Good adjustments. So my opponent is watching Tyreek Hill. So we're going to go into this type of offense right here where we able to mix in a lot of runs a lot of traps just to make him uh take his mind off of the big threat right here so we on the left hash mark he flipped his play so we're gonna mix in some runs right here we're gonna make him commit he has that cornerback on the right side we're gonna hit him with a trap follow our blocks one two get to that hole right there make him miss eight to nine yards 
So we haven't been running the ball with him that much. He's mixing in man coverage. He's mixing in cover two. He's doing a lot of things for Tyree Hill. So right here, we got that uh, cornerback on that one side. So we're going to quick hike him real fast. I can see him over there with a separation. Run him over, and we pick up the first down. And see if his user chases Tyree. Fake hike. There he is on aggressive again. Another five yards. So now we can turn two clock on, and we can just do a goal line type run to make him burn the timeout or two some clock. So we got the halfback uh, dive. We got the QB sneak. We got a different couple things that we can do. With the middle wide open, we're going to do into this QB sneak just to make some of that clock drip off. Boom. Two clock on. He's going to have to burn the timeout. If not, the clock is going to just drip down, and that's exactly what we want. So we're going to go back into this offense right here. Let that clock drip all the way to about 1 minute and 20-some seconds. There we go, nine, eight, seven. So we're gonna streak Tyreek. Let's see if we can get him over the top. There he is. We're gonna throw it to the outside and we're gonna wreck catch that. Turn up Phil, he's diving, and we get Tyreek into the end zone, baby. Patient all game. Finally got the defense that we wanted. He put that cloud back out there. And Tyreek, all you got to do is just be patient. Eventually, he will get some separation on that cloud. And it happened to be the wide side of the field. And Tyreek goes into the end zone. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like on the video. Stay tuned for more live gameplays with some bonus breakdowns in the video. It's all love. Drop a like on the video. Let's go.